Greetings, fellow seekers of knowledge. It's your boy, Isaac Anzu, here again with another music-making stream. I'm the number one music-making chimera that I know about. <laughs> Chimeras, are we a musical species? Well, some of us. Multiple mouths or harmony. Anyway, look what I found. <laughs> Listen to that bad boy. Oh, it's loud. Um, is that better? That's better. Today we're going to make some funk. We like the funk. We like the funk. So I'm going to start out with uh, 808. Uh, We need the bell. <laughs> oh, baby. Listen to that. Listen to that shit. This is so good. Uh, can we warp it? Um, Complex Pro, baby. Seems good. Um, Crunch it, crunch the fuck out of it. We're gonna have like a long melody. That's not very funky, is it? I've got some. I've got some. Uh, once again, I've got some uh, tutorials pulled up, just in case I need to funk my way um, from some cool funkers who know what they're doing.
We should probably start with the drum beat. I mean, that's how we start all these things, right? The drums. So let's just listen to a couple funk samples and see if I can't get some drums off of there, some drum ideas. Bum, bum, bum. Doom, doom, doom. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, about there. Um, I guess let's... I guess let's find a bombastic. This is this is pretty pretty good. Pretty pretty accurate. We'll, we'll get to you later. So let's see. Just start with a kick. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Yeah, okay. I think let's start by focusing on the kick and just making the kick as Bonky as possible. Yeah, wait, no, this is the kick that I want. Can we? Okay, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to take this kick and put it here. No, that's not what I want. Why don't we just take a new MIDI track and take this kick. New MIDI track. Take this kick and just throw it right here. No. Delete. That's not what I want to do. New audio track. Take this kick. Is this not an audio effect? I guess go into the samples, drums, kick electrified 10 one yeah bum 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 since this is our base let's just Start here. Okay. Electrified kick two. And what I want to do What's that note? doesn't matter. This one gets moved up.
So I think we can add some more with the kick here. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, we can add some more, like, Just swing these a little bit. A little bit more. Not quite that much. Slightly moving things by 128th notes or even 256 notes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Excellent. So then what we want to do is we want to distort the shit out of it. And I think we want to do that with a compressor. No, saturator. something like that we can we can we can start setting up the melody just to have it for reference we'll do other shit later oh no i can't escape the christmas carols well too bad Grundle. they're 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 not locked in here with you you're locked in here with them bump 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 mm-hmm too high right there's that bonk sound you prefer the name Scrooge well you know what they say every Scrooge is just one supernatural ghost uh, away from supernatural haunting away from uh, changing their ways forever so be on the lookout for the three ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Scrooge never works in retail. Ah, uh, yeah, but nobody plays uh, Carol of the Bells in retail, right? They just play Mariah Carey, right?
You've heard a few classics already? Really? Is there... Obviously, this is like a loaded question working in retail, but... Is there any song that... Uh, still holds on to the Christmas magic for you? I think I know what I must do. I don't even know what note this is. Does it say? It doesn't. I need to EQ this again. Honestly, no. This needs to be EQ'd as well. But anyway, how am I? Uh, well, we had some bad news this week. Uh, a job that my uh, wife was applying for was uh didn't work out sadly so that happens <laughs> oh my god this is no that sounds awful why why is it this? Is it this that I want? Yes. Oh my god, why is this kit so perfect? Damn. It'll all work out in the end, though. Well, we're probably going to have to move to a, uh, you know, cheaper area to live in. We currently live in a really nice area, which we were planning on doing anyway. Is this really what I want? I don't think I want all of this. Um, And I do have an insurance thing I need to figure out. So I think we'll be able to survive. It's just, you know, you don't want to just survive, right? You want to grow. You want to have the time and energy and space to not have to worry about things like the future and instead think about things like I don't know art and music and video games and shit will we get there yeah I feel that nah Okay, so we want all three of these. So I think what we do is we just duplicate this and uh, delete the fuck out of the, the base part. Because if we want all three of them to be hitting at the same time, it does work out eventually if things come together. That's true, though. Listen to that. Conk. It's so good. Yeah. And I had a situation like that 
when I was just getting out of college and there was a music school in Florida that I applied to. And it was kind of like my dream school. I, I really wanted to go. But, um, man, it just didn't work. They didn't accept me. I didn't get the scholarships. I didn't get nothing. Um, and, you know, I would have ended up living in Florida. Like, can you really um, say that that would be a win? I don't think so. But because I didn't move to Florida, that's the, ah, that's the conch. I like the conch. I need this to be softer even softer softer if I had if I had moved to Florida not only would I have been in Florida ugh, I also would not have met my wife I would not have met all the wonderful people that I know now including my uh best friend who also drew my model I probably wouldn't be a VTuber let's be real um and I definitely wouldn't have uh, eventually moved to Germany. And I probably wouldn't even be making Christmas funk. I mean, can you imagine a world where I didn't make Christmas funk music? Fucking awful, awful world. How's this hi-hat? Is that the hi-hat we want? As long as there are no regrets to who and where you are, it's all fine. Well, that's the thing. Um, when I was when I was feeling down about my non-Florida situation. There we got it. There, there, that is. That is it. Okay. So let's go back to samples. We need uh, electrified hi hat, closed electrified hi hats, 10 2. Um, when I was feeling bad about my situation, I spoke to one of my teachers who obviously had some good advice for me. And she said, the path that you are on right now might feel like the wrong path, but there is no right path. There is no way for you to, uh, in all universe, in all possible timelines, I'm still making funk music. We can't just, we, we, there's no possible way to escape it. That's the, that's the truth and beauty of the, of the funk. Okay, let's get rid of this low shit clouding up my mix we must saturate all right so yes but i kind of want a four beat pattern here where it kind of goes like uh, you know, so we start out kind of low. It's just, it's just the existence as we know it requires this moment. Yeah.
there is no right path. And the important thing is to make the most of the path that you're on. And you don't know where that path will lead. It's basically, it's more important to have a direction than a destination. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Can we add in some like little funky funkiness? Where's my... Just, just, I want to add in a little bit of funkiness. And just make it quiet as fuck. Just so quiet. <laughs> Ash. Wonderful. Hashtag crazy cat. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome, Seventh Vampire. Thank you for bringing your friends along. My name is Isaac Anzu, a clever chimera. Uh, I'm a clerical, erical, uh, chimerical, uh, librarian, <laughs> lyrical, magical, mystical, lyrical, <laughs> uh, the white boy rap, um, hashtag crazy cat. What's up, Keith, the dinosaur boy VA. How's it going, Seven? How's it going, everyone? Thanks for stopping in. Uh, tonight we are breaking boundaries we're we're being closer and closer to our true selves every day and we're doing that by way of funk music um i think i'm going to add an auto filter on this too just every bar every half bar let me get this little like up and down. Offset at 90 degrees. Ah, but how are you? What were you playing? You were playing The Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure. Did the shout out work? Let's see if the shout out worked. Shout out. Seven. The Vampire. I don't know why the shout out doesn't work unless I actually type it in. But that's that's silly. Um anyway. Thanks so much for rating. I hope your stream was good. I'm just going to give like the slightest of. The slightest of changes on this filter. Just to give it a little bit more feel. And then we should be able to duplicate this and hear the whole this is only two measures i mean that sounds pretty good and that's not even we have this like super low kick but it's not even the bass I do want a bass, though. Gotta have that bass. I 
that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I like the anarchy. I like the anarchy, Reese. Let's go. All right. Um, the main part of a funk song is all on just one note. Might be might be too fast. Might be too fast. Yeah. Much better. Do we want the LFO? This cowbell is just insanely loud. That's all. But do we want that? We kind of do. All right, the next thing I want to do, we've got to keep working on these drums, right? Um, the electrified kit had a... clap in it. The shaker, that's what I want. Um, what is this? Shaker electrified tent. Right, everything's 10. Let's go. I'm just gonna set this here and here, and then listen to it. Delay that shit. utility to bring that in a little bit.
It's sounding pretty good so far. Let's add some fill ending fills for the the second bit. So I think one of the things that he did in the tutorial video was really cool. Um, let's get rid of that. Just do this and then this. Yeah. Okay. Now we need um, some sort of vocal sample. Ooh. Do we have a vocal sample? Rap. Vocal. Spell it right. Select town, come again, pull up that from the top to the very last. Jump, 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 jump. Bop, 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 bop. Rewind, select town, come again. Are Pretty you great. Ready? Take it down low. The sounds, the pounds, the sound. The mind is time, the mind is space. A horn rush, a bass flush for minds to taste. The, it's like mind detects mind, son. It's like mind Man. detects mind, son. It's like who, who got to do the vocals for the Ableton sample library, right? Okay, don't stop what you're doing. It's like mind detects mind. The mind is time. The mind is space. A horn rush, a bass flush for minds to taste. The I kind of like this one. So let's take this and do the the funk thing, and just drop it down like two octaves. The mind is time. The mind is space. Maybe not two octaves. The mind is time. The mind is space. The, the mind is time. The mind is space. Uh, let's make it way faster. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. The mind is time. The mind is space. A whole bunch of bass flush for minds to taste. Mind is time. Can I get like uh can I get like one and a half times speed? Yeah, I don't know if I like it as it's much. It's like mind detects my son. It's like mind detects the sounds, the Let's let's try let's try Dan Man vocal. Do the thing, drop it down. Oh, my God. 
Hmm, how do you feel? I don't feel, I don't feel it. I mean, we need a vocal sample, otherwise it's not really funk, is it? Perhaps we can go to my favorite place on the website, freesound.org. Oh, my God, they... They updated the old interface. Oh no, welcome to the new free sound. Finally, after years of work, we're able to use the new free sound interface. Wow. Okay, we're looking for bonk vocal. And we are looking for Creative Commons Zero. Oh, there's some good kicks on here, though. Easy flowing. Easy flowing. Hello and welcome to the bank. Please give me all of your fucking money right now. <laughs> LS team. Oof. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge. I actually kind of like this one. It's it's weird, but we're going to download it. Okay. Uh I'm just gonna just gonna make sure we have everything collected and saved. So let's let's listen to the whole thing. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. tonight. Easy going. Flow like dancing, water, every day, every night show. Easy going, easy flowing. It is weird, but let's let's give it a try. Complex Pro, baby. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going. So I want in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Let's just scooch this a little bit more. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy right. flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we take it easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge 
of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we think it's easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we think it's easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we think it's easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we think it's easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we think it's easy flowing. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. Easy going, we think it's easy flowing. Okay. Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor. Just consolidate that. No. Nah, 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 nah. We need this, we need this chopped up and closer together. So let's, um, let's just chop it up. Chop it up. So we want to take out, I think, 16th note chunks at a time. So let's just delete this. Just take out this. We'll make an exception there. Then maybe we can be adjusted a little bit more and then add Copy. Consolidate. I think what I want to do is adjust this slightly. Um, take this, we take it bit. What's that? Five. Just bring it here. And then let's just scoot this back and then put this here. Can we just boop? Nothing matters because we are in charge of the dance floor tonight. 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking here. I'm thinking now, loud. Yeah, it's not really funky, is it? I mean, I like it, but it's not really funky. Back to freesound.org. Uh, let's just try rap vocal. Uh, creative Commons, please. <laughs> rap acapella vocals for those of you. It's the same guy. On the rainy day, people shooting round on the block, stopping bullets. Uh huh. This one is tag trash yeah. rap. This guy sucks vocal. What is even happening? There's nothing happening. Well, I've been fucked by Scrooge McDuck, and it's 20. <laughs> well, I've been fucked by Scrooge McDuck. You're telling the strength of the boss that fuck he looks like. Man, people just want to throw all sorts of. Oh, man, he's a player, a straight up pencil gator. He lines them up and knocks them down and calls them back for later. In the fire zone, right at home, and everybody knows it. Come to throw and fit. Yeah, they... People just want to throw all sorts of shit on their voice maybe maybe we don't need a rap vocal maybe we just need to look up the lyrics to carol the bells and i rap it carol the bells lyrics let's let's just listen to this let's just listen to four to half our half our thing. Fuck out the bells, sweet silver bells. All seem to say, throw kids away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old, meek and the bold. Ding dong, ding dong. That is the song with purple ring, all caroling. What's the what's what's the what's the rhythm that I'm going for? So but dip it up, but dip it dip it up, dip it dip it dip it up, dip it dip it dip it up, but the hog. Hog it how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw kids away. Christmas is here, bringing in good cheer to young and old, meek and the bold, ding dong ding dong. That is the song. Triple ring, all caroling. One seems to hear words of good cheer, found of a wet bill in the air. I mean, that that works pretty well. Why don't we just record it? Why don't we just use the thing that i have here my voice my voice perfect my voice yes um 
Let me record you, fiend. I have an audio track. Um, external in. Yeah, where's my input device? Hello. Perfect. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna do takes until we get it. I hope you're ready for a, a, a extended wrapping sequence. Are we recording? Excellent. Hark! How the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, "Throw cares away." No, that's too slow. Fuck out the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old meek and the bull ding dong ding dong. That is the song with joyful ring all caroling. One seems to hear words on good cheer from everywhere, filling the arrow, how they pound, raising the sound, oh, hill and dale telling the tale. Gaily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here, merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. On how they send on without end with tone at every home. Hark, how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing a cheer to young and old, me and the bull. Ding dong, ding dong, that is the song. Hark, how the bells. Hark, how the bells. Hark how the bells. Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old meek and the bull. Ding dong, ding dong, that is the song. Whew. Big breath. Hawk how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old meek and the bold. Ding dong, ding dong, that is their song with joyful ring all caroling. One seems to hear words of good cheer from every weapon filling the air. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. Uh, so the fun part is if we just take this little, little boy here, we can actually see the entirety of my recording. There's a lot. There's a lot here. So I think we want this last section. Let's just copy that. Move this over. Paste. Uh, this all needs to be duplicated so that we can listen to it. And then, naturally, I must remember that on my vocal tracks, I need to apply my... And let's just... Let's just take this ending bit copy it uh, paste it right here just get a nice loop Let's just make it one thing for now and then do the thing. Negative 12, Complex Pro, right here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes. All right. Let's move the let's move the bass out of the drum elements. And let's just take all the drum elements, uh, group them up and put that fabulous drum bus on it. Uh, set the low frequency to an A, obviously. Set the boom up. Uh, have be comp. Recording. Excellent. Oh God. Uh, I heard my own voice. Right, I forgot there was all this audio here. I think we need to change the bass now. Bow with it, bow with it, bow with it, bow with it. Yeah, it needs to line up with the the drums a little bit. So let's just go into here, delete this, bring these boys together so they kiss. And yeah, let's just fucking jam this shit. Let's just jam it. How the fuck is this so good? Oh man, that lasts forever. It's still going, can you hear it? Into the ether. Far away. Somewhere far away. Okay. Um, let's go back to the tutorial. Tutorial. So you guys have been reaching out pretty much on a daily basis. Shh, 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 shh. See if we're missing anything. I don't think we're missing anything crazy. 
But actually, yes, we are. We need some sort of like siren or whoop sound. Yeah, that shaker is, is cool, but it's getting annoying. So what if we just added an audio track that resamples uh, the shaker and <laughs> recorded the shaker? We'll give it a few loops so it catches all those super, super long shakes. Okay, and now what we can do is we can just play this. And it'll stop when we want it to. Brilliant. Uh, let's rename this Shaker um, Breeze. We've frozen the track. Beautiful. Oh, right. I wanted to add another hi-hat groove to this. So uh, let's go into clips. Hi-hat. We're at 160 beats per minute, so... That's sick. All right, we're going to have to speed it up, though. Um, OK, new track. Oh, did it speed it up on its own? I love that. Love that for us. And what we can do is we can add a frequency shifter to it, as well as an EQ. Just so it sits a little better in the mix. Sounding good. We need a siren, though. Do I hear the ghost of an amen break in there? Uh, you might be hearing this.
which honestly needs a little bit more love on the EQ, huh? Is 400 really the right? Do the vocals sound slow or fast to you, Khan? I think 425 is better. Yeah, more funky. All right, then we need the the raid siren, obviously. Yeah, part of part of the problem with having this complicated setup is I have to figure out the audio delay for every project, and you kind of have to do it individually because how much CPU your computer is using. You're not wearing headphones, so you're having trouble hearing. Plus, you just woke up. Man, what you doing like waking up in the middle of the night here? In the middle of the night, Khan was walking in his sleep. Um, let's listen to the siren. What note is that? What note is that? To watch me stream? Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I suppose that's all right. Why is it cut off? I don't want it to cut off. I want it to I want it to be there till the end. <laughs> All right. Are we recording? I think this is good for. I mean, it's funk, right? So we just <laughs> play this, play this. It will work. Is that right? Okay. So uh, let's do a little bit of that old arrangement. We'll just double this, double this, select all of that, move it here. And then we'll do a another section. We'll do section two. Uh, how are you, Khan? Have you been working on music at all lately? I've seen you've been doing a lot of art. I'm trying, man. One seems to hear words from good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they pound, raising the sound. Oh, hill and dell telling the tale. I'm trying to focus more on talking instead of just streaming Hawk, have the bells hawk have the bells sweet silver bells all seem to say throw cares away christmas is here bringing the cheer to young and old meek and the bold ding dong ding dong and it's tough the song. 
it's it's even harder i would i would argue it's even harder than playing dark souls with uh with no you know <laughs> distraction i'm getting distracted i'm just sitting here getting distracted how do you do it, man? How do you keep your brain so flexible? Ain't talking what goes on during streaming? I mean, that's the problem. I am so easily distractible by the things that are happening on this the stream. Let's just make you loud. Sweet silver bells all seem to say Throw cares away, Christmas is here Bring me the cheer to young and old Me and the ball, ding, dong, ding, dong That is the song Hark how the bells Hark how the bells Hark how the bells I mean, doesn't that sound kind of good by itself? I am too, but it's why I have so many tangents in stream Hark how Yeah, and I think I think the thing that I need to work on is being willing to stop working and talk, right? Because I've noticed that. I've noticed that on your streams, on Bonnie's streams, on Augie's streams, you stop what you're doing and talk to the audience. And that might seem like a silly thing to notice, but for me, who is constantly working on projects and constantly wanting to advance those projects and constantly wanting to get things done because productivity is the only thing that matters, uh, it's hard. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. It, 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 can, it, can, it can be tough. All right. So let's take, uh, we're not going to have all these drones. Surely not. But some of them for sure. And we can definitely add, let's add just a big old filter. Yeah. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a product of my capitalist environment. Well, that's the other side of the coin here. You actually finish projects. Lies. <laughs> uh, let's listen to, let's just take the bass away and take the high away and solo. Maybe we can... No, I like that. There we go. Take the highway. But life is a highway. So isn't that technically killing? Well... I've heard that if you take the high road and I'll take the low road, we'll be in Dublin by morning. Is that how that song goes? I don't fucking know. I think this is good. And now we got to remember to automate turn off the EQ filter here I was thinking it's a, a wonder boy reference wonder boy oh my god oh, what is the secret of your power what a good song what a good song uh, I saw them live. I saw those boys live. Those boys, oh, by which I mean 
tenacious D. Come fly with me, fly. Uh, and they were really good. There were a lot more penises in their concert than I was expecting. And I don't know why I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I mean, their very first song was called Fuck Her Gently, right? Come on. Uh, let's 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 throw this this exact same EQ. Can we copy this and just throw this right here and the the thing as well? Some friends of mine seen him recently. One of them bought the official Tenacious D cum rag. Pretty much. I does it have their faces on it? Is really what I want to know. Because that could be a deal breaker, or it could be a deal maker. If you had a t-shirt with a celebrity's face on it. Oh man, this is such a wild question. Whose face would you want it to be if you were just going to use it to dispose of your, um, <laughs> of your, of yourself? Honestly, I would be disappointed if their faces weren't on it. We need, we need this. We need this. We need this. Do I have a sweep? What about a riser? Uh, no. What about just noise? Oh, we want samples, of course. It's a tough question, because you have to strike the balance. If it's someone you respect too much, you won't feel good about soiling their face. But if it's someone you respect too little, then you have to deal with the fact that you're going to be looking in their eyes every time you come. <laughs> How can you strike the balance? How can you find the balance? What was the other one we had? Sweep? Like, whose eyes do you want to stare into? It's true. It can't be someone you hate because they might not be worth it. Exactly. Exactly. How can you possibly look into Kevin Spacey's eyes every time you orgasm? I would die. I 
I mean, let's just do the classic pad sweep. The problem is it's in D. Right? So we need to transpose it down five, minus five. Is this an admiration come shot? I was known for disrespectful. Well, that's the thing, right? You have to balance admiration and respect because otherwise, uh, admiration and disrespect. Because you do want it to be someone worth. Oh, wait, I, I know. I know the, the only correct answer. It's Danny DeVito. There's only one answer. It's Danny DeVito. Yeah, Danny DeVito. Somehow I think he would be okay with me doing it, but at the same time, I'm okay with doing it. I'm okay. Get your clips ready. No, I'm not going to say it. Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. Give me that baby batter. <laughs> now, the question is, do you do the penguin costume or not? Right? Uh, do, do you do you include the penguin costume? <laughs> Absolutely. Bold. You're so bold. What's up, Zenny? Oh, my actual fuck. My entire message was warped away. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Wait, really? Okay, something is up with this timing here. It isn't quite right. What was your message, Zenny? Uh, I'm curious. We need more sound effects. That's the that's the that's the 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 problem. Well, let's fix this first. Yeah, the timing is so off. Do 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 one two three four five six seven do 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 do. Need someone saying Isaac beats ten milli, <laughs> ten milli, ten milli. Whatever those rap songs, a milli, a milli, a milli, a millionaire. Ah oh, man, well, you know, I would I would love to. I would love to do something like that. Um why don't we just do big symbols? Crash. Give me a crash. Give me a, a crash electrified 10. Bruh, weak. Weak. We the best music. What if we, ooh, what if we just, what if we 
just put a little what if we just stop 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 <laughs> major beats yeah we, we need a tag on the front of this uh so let's just copy this and add it to the front hiphopgame.com i'm getting some good i'm getting some good good uh suggestions here um let's let's add the bass as well and of course let's add our siren effect but very 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 light And the, the riser, maybe? Just extremely, extremely light. Get an obscure Neopets song in there. I don't know, not even mixed in, just cuts to it for 30 seconds. <laughs> what? Neopets? What even is Neopets music? Neopets music? Oh my God, there's so much. Get out of here. The Yes Boy Ice Cream Concert. No, this can't be real. <laughs> that's that's a real thing that people jammed to once upon a time, I guess. Um, I'm narrowing down my choices to Burt Reynolds, Charlton, Charleston Heston, and Tom Holland. Oh my god, Tom Holland is such a strong choice. Because he's cute. And at the same time, I don't think he would mind. And at the same time... Yeah, okay, Tom Holland... For sure. Bert Heston. Who the fuck is Bert Heston? <laughs> Bert Heston sounds like the name of a of a 90s one time villain of the week in a, a road high school road trip uh, sitcom. chose Tom because life has been fucking him with the whole Zendaya situation so I may as well add to it <laughs> motherfucker the dude's an actor he did, just because he act across from Zendaya does not mean that they are like any more than just really close friends okay and also just because and even if they are closer than close friends, just because she acts in a movie where she, you know, does stuff with other guys, ooh, that doesn't mean anything. That makes Will Smith a contender, too. Hmm. The Will Smith come rag. Oh, God, but which era, Will Smith? Modern or Fresh Prince or Wild Wild West? Men in Black? The Genie? Do you want the Genie? You want the Aladdin Genie? <laughs> Will Smith? That's kind of modern. That'd be weird. Fresh Prince was my adolescence. <laughs> you know... Modern deserves it. We're getting we're like like this the spite is is that attractive, right? If I'm going to have someone's face on a piece of 
uh, cloth that I use to relieve myself. I would like it to be something I want to look at. You are attractive. Thank you. <laughs> I still am looking for suggestions for um, tags to put at the front of this. And I'm sorry, but we're never going to be um, Shadow Wizard Money Gang, legalized nuclear bombs. Just give me, um, just give me the bombastic samples. No, one shots SFX. <laughs> Shadow Chimera, Shadow Isaac Chimera Gang. <laughs> Shadow Librarian Chimera Gang. <laughs> we are the shadow librarians legalized nuclear spells I shoved an Anzu up my four strength two stamina leather belt I feel like that's a little too long I'm just saying it would sound pretty gangster for you to came on. <laughs> I'm just saying it would sound pretty gangster to say you came on Will Smith and or Tom Holland. Yeah, these are fine, but I want something longer. Where's my sound objects? Sounds. Are we wobbin? Are we wobbin, baby wobbin, baby wobbin, baby wobbin? Uh, let's just put this right here. Um, hey. Ah. Listen to it. I like the I like the vibe of Shadow Librarian Chimera Gang, but I'm thinking it's a little bit too derivative still. What if we use the word hyperfixation a little bit? Hyperfixation. These sounds of sweeten in your keister. Uh, nice. We love a sweet keister. Let's listen. Man, it just drops, don't it? Um, let's resample this. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Crisco or olive oil? Actually, I've been using sunflower seed oil recently for cooking, and man, that shit is delicious. It's like light and wonderful and just mm, so good. All right. Uh, I'm going to make this a little louder and then we're going to fade it in. Vaseline. Well, we know where that's going. Uh, what is this Neo Neopets music we're supposed to be listening to? Hmm. Jesus, what the fuck is that? Love me some olives and their health benefits, so I use the oil. Yeah, olive oil is probably one of the better oils for you. Sunflower is supposed to be pretty good for you, too. Um, it's all about that. Uh, yeah. You know, nutrient content. Canola oil. Not great. What do people normally use? What? When, when the American bottle says cooking oil, what is it? How'd you make it? Where is the oil come from, America? Where is it coming from? Bacon grease also goes up there. Mm hmm. All right. So let's add. Let's add an auto filter onto the. Yeah, the drums are still a little loud. And then we automate that a little bit. So the auto filter, what are we looking at? Uh, frequency, there we go. Just all the way up. How do I do the uh, curve? There we go. Oh, we need to we need to filter the fuck out of these too. Bacon grease is a probably seed oils, some kind of seed oil. There's lots of different ways to make oil. Uh, and America is after all of them. <laughs> uh, question, though, do we want... Um, I still need something up here. Look. I know that I, know that I said... I was too opposed to the Shadow Librarian Chimera Gang. Oh, 
I'm not that opposed to it. Oh shit. Think I found your candidate? All right. Steve Harvey? What the heck? I thought Super Mario RPG didn't come out till next year. Is it? Is it uh, out? I saw a video about it. Is that the? Let me just check. I'm subscribed to Eight Bit Music Theory, who is one of the best music channels on the internet, and it looks like 14 hours ago he released a video on the battle themes of Super Mario RPG. Comes out today? Oh, dang. Well, um, Minecraft this weekend, I guess. <gasps> I'm poor. I can't afford the new games. Um, that's fine. Who needs new games? We have Funk. Steve Harvey is bald. Have you seen the the meat? Um, actually, you're the best music channel on the internet. Is that true? Are we? Well, the Meat Canyon video is really good. Meat Canyon, that's his name. Canyon. Steve Harvey. I'm just going to bring this. I'm just going to bring this up. Uh, we're going to watch Meat Canyon. All right. No. Uh, with no sound. Because, you know. Oh, no. Someone said something inappropriate. I love how it went from obscure gross humor to like actual eldritch abominations. Actual <laughs> eldritch, eldritch animations of quality. Yeah, dude, Meat Canyon is far and away one of my favorite animators on the internet. Just let let it go, man. Stop, stop holding yourself back from the thing that you want to do, from the thing that you want to be. Make funk 24-7. Make Meat Canyon, uh... I just love it so much. You want to see this in a horror game? Horror games don't have the guts. Horror games do not have the guts to do what Me Canyon does on a regular basis. Pull open the mustache. I hope Steve Harvey has seen this. We played some indie horror games and it's all just jump scares. It's all just jump scares. <laughs> Meat Canyon Steve Harvey reaction. Has he seen this? Or is it just um
have we seen Steve Harvey's reaction, or is it just stupid people reacting? Stupid people like me. He made this animation about that one muscle guy. I forget his name, but he looks like muscled up carrot top. I mean, we can just go to Meat Canyon. Um, All right, now Meat Canyon. The Angel of Gains. Wow, it was only three weeks. Wow. The amazing thing is how fast he puts these out. I love the pickleball one. It was weird. We talked about pickleball on stream, and then all of a sudden, um, pickleball was in Meat Canyon. The Grimace Birthday Shake, the Mario movie. Like, <laughs> they're so good. And how does he put them out so quickly? He's got to have, like, a team? Yeah, I know. I wonder how much of these meat Canyon does himself. I'll pickle you. All of them? Let's watch the Angel of Gains. Now, I still have a couple weeks left in the cut, so this uh, this is going to get a whole lot freakier. Oh. I think I... Unless they're 3D or something, he'll credit. Didn't... Con, didn't you send me a video where... Did you need to use this machine? Somebody was like me, talking about core core. I, I certainly didn't mean any disrespect by it. Hey, and it was this guy. You want to get big, kid? Oh my god, yes. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, god, it hurts. No, no, it's good. It's supposed to. Oh, it's not even the right arm, it's the left arm. Shame. What's happening to me? You have so much potential inside of you. There's no one solution to fitness. You gotta do what feels right. For you. I made it. How is everyone? We are. The pump can be addicting. Veins expanding. Muscles transforming. You become an enhanced version of yourself. Just another lift under the belt. Jesus. It's abs everywhere he touches. Everything's expanding! When I'm at the gym, I don't think, oh, I'm on my cut, I can't eat this or that. I mean, as long as it's in my macros, I mean, I can eat whatever I want. Looking huge. <laughs> Kill me! Welcome to the club, big man. No! 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 I mean, yeah, there's no credits here, huh? He just works on this stuff 24 7, I guess. Yeah, Sam Sulik. It's the, it's the guy that you. It's the guy that the video that Khan sent me recommended, Sam Sulik. Wild. <laughs> Creamed clown core. Was that Meat Canyon? It was. Hello, Board Brain. Uh, Welcome to the stream. I guess, I guess, uh, do you have any suggestions for a funk hook that we can put at the front of this? That's what we're looking for right now. A good funk hook. You couldn't keep it on YouTube because it was Ice Spice twerking very close to the camera. Ah, uh, yeah. Isn't Ice Spice like 
16 or some shit. Ice Spice. American rapper. Born 2000. So she's 23. Wait. Born January 1st, 2000? That feels like a fake age. Hmm. Hmm. Man, if this is a one-man production, that's insane. Yeah, it's... I, I think about this. Like, he has his thing, right? Meat Canyon has the thing that fulfills him. He has the thing that energizes him, that makes him happy. Um... There's no reason for him to do anything else. And so he does it all the time. And he has Patreon supporters who support him. And he puts out a video every couple weeks. And it's absolute insanity. And we love that for him. Hook, not book. I mean, you can make book suggestions all you want. In fact, um, I believe you can also check out books. Right. Check out demand. Is that not working anymore? Why is my checkout command not working anymore? Where's my where's my uh, checkout command? Bro. Bro, where's my commands? Why is checkout not working? Where's checkout? Check out commands. Check out a book. Test command. Okay, that worked. What the heck? The Bridge of San Luis Rey by Thornton, Thornton Wider. I recommend looking at old video games. Uh, old, old RPGs have good songs that could become a good funk hook. Hmm. That's true. What's a good video game? What's a good old video game? What's a video game that I played? Uh, let's see, 90s RPGs. Role playing games from the 90s. She's legal, but it was borderline sex because it was the dad using VR to honk his walk at Christmas time. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I looked up funk because all my brain was producing was polka. And it's apparently not hardcore, but jazz hardcore. Um, is it? I have no idea. Uh, you know what game I played? Uh, Fallout 3. Played Fallout 3 back in the day. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, these 90s RPGs were a little before I was into RPGs. Unless you count Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Yeah, let's do that. I'm, I'm obsessed with the opening song to Zone of the Enders. Zone of the Enders is good. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Zarkon tastes good. Good smoky barbecue. Um, oh, baby. Oh, are you serious? Oh, baby. Nine and a half hour long play, no commentary, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance full game walkthrough. Holy fuck. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, this is bringing back core memories. The only early RPG I know is Daggerfall. I'm gaslighting myself into thinking it doesn't have music right now. <laughs> uh, good smoky barbecue. Fun, what do you taste like? 
I had an idea for a podcast a while ago called The Taste of Fame, where we just debate on how different celebrities tasted if you lick them. And you had to consider things like sweat content and pheromones and what they spend their time around, right? Like, um, we determined that... Um, oh, I'm so bad with celebrity names. Who's the guy who plays Ron Swanson? Nick Offerman. We determined that Nick Offerman just tastes like the forest of your childhood. Um, it's more like an arsenic flavor profile. Oh, almonds. I love almonds. <laughs> Wait, is that? No, that's cyanide. <laughs> I imagine they all taste like leather and cologne, except Nick Cage, who tastes godly. <laughs> Nick Cage tastes like whatever he's been rolling in which is um, Google, how do I le delete Twitch chat message? Uh, I'll just uh, delete that for you. <laughs> uh, I fucking love no commentary long play videos so fucking much. Absolutely. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions. But at least you're alive. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. You'd best stay on attack. Can we can we just Who got let's Hagar? Indeed. Let's see what our little ambush has won us. This guy is oh, way too strong. Who goes there? To be It's the watch. Let's get out of here. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. Karn ends up being like a major villain. Way, way, way too strong to be robbing people on the street. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Still some life in this one. <laughs> Looks like all they did was make off with some possessions. Look, it's your life here. Oh. You can seek shelter in the Elf Song Tavern. It's close enough. And even know how to find those that attacked you. Elf Song Tavern. It is a small place, filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. <laughs> That's the line. That's the line that everyone remembers. A motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. A motley assortment of beats. And Christmas trophies. A motley assortment of beats and Christmassy trophies. Is that, is it, can we do that? Can we do that? A motley assortment of beats and Christmas trophies. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. We record. A motley assortment of beats and Christmas trophies. A motley assortment of beats and Christmas trophies. A mot. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> uh, I guess we can just uh, mute the video and keep the long play on. Why not? Perfect. All right. Let's do the thing where we make it sound funky. Yes. Oh, look, it's Aleph, the bartender that so many sexy bartenders are modeled off of. The woman is not wearing enough clothing. And yes, they modeled in nipple polygons. They had to. Nipple polygons, you say. 
Yeah, I'm fairly certain that those are not extras. Also, the jiggle physics ahead of their time. Oh my god, Twitch Prime is giving away Knights of the Old Republic. Wait, really? On God? For PC? Knights of the Old Republic? <laughs> That's a good game. That is another that is another early RPG that I was super into. Let's listen to Aleth a little bit. Well, there's a problem with that. Actually. Maybe we can help each other out. Bad timing. <laughs> um, let's get it started in here. All right, we take the EQ, we throw it on here. Um, make sure our device on automation is set to the right place. Dude, Knights of the Old Republic, though, easily one of like the best early RPGs. Frequency shifter, this bad boy. I think we can, and I think we should. Oh, yo. Uh, whoa. Oh, welcome, friends. Uh, salty boy, how's it going? Uh, welcome, everyone. My name is Isaac Anzu, Camara VTuber. Thank you so much for rating in. Uh, playing Soul Calibur 2. Ooh, hoo, hoo. which version? Uh, I remember when Soul Calibur 2 came out, everybody was super into it because uh, they, wait, yo, Isaac, the channel you were shouting out doesn't exist. Yes, it does. Salty boy. Oh, it's an I live. P Pillage and plunder. What's up, Ray? It's very on brand for you. Uh, <laughs> Playing the GameCube version with Link? Nice. Oh, what version did I have? We had an Xbox. So that was... Spawn? Uh -huh. God, I missed when Soul Calibur had the bongles to make different versions of the same game for different consoles. We were talking about that earlier. Xbox version had Spawn, yeah. What did the PlayStation version have? Um, Cloud or... Sephiroth or some Final Fantasy character? No. Heihachi from Tekken. Wild. Yeah, we were talking about Meat Canyon earlier. Do you know Meat Canyon? Meat Canyon, like, uh, the bomb. And 
We're talking about how horror games don't have the guts to do what Meat Canyon does. Uh, anyway, today we're making Christmas Flonk. <laughs> uh, PlayStation version was supposed to have Cloud, but they got cut for time, so they used Heihachi. Nice. Uh, sounds like a classic video game development cycle. Uh, anyway, today we're making Christmas Fonk. And I think it turned out pretty well. Also, yeah, I've seen Me Canyon. Gotta listen for the drop. the let's 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 try increasing the drive when we get to this section let's let's listen to how that sounds yeah you like the beat of this it's classic funk which isn't actually funk at all. It's like Memphis hip hop. Curious how much you can distort the bass for this. I don't want to distort it too much because then it'll just kill everything like it did um, a couple weeks ago when I was working on music. Uh, I'm gonna head to bed. Thanks for the stream. Khan, I'm glad that you woke up in the middle of the night to watch my stream. Uh, please fix your sleep schedule. Big in the funk and drum and bass. So it's definitely on my personal car ride playlist. Nice. Yeah, this is my first foray into funk, and I have to say I quite enjoy it. Khan isn't real. He's just an apparition that we're all collectively hallucinating. Apparently, modern funk is quite bass boosted. Well, but there's a difference between bass boosting and bass distorting. So... We can go into the um, we can go into the mastering because there is something we have to do in the mastering before the song is complete, and that is just destroy it utterly in the mastering. Um, <laughs> I'm always up for destroying things. All right, I need to I need to delete this. It's becoming annoying. Uh can we can we do this? Yes. That's what I want, though. I want to destroy music. I want to stop music from being this homogenous thing. I want to do something that's outside music. Does that make sense? Can you even hear me? I can't even hear myself, to be honest. Ending music with music, hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Last, stop music from being pleasing to listen or stop music from being too locked in a genre. Uh, locked in genres, I think is what I'm going for. 
I hate to end this Baldur's Gate long play alliance um, because, man, I remember all this Onyx Tower, the Ice Cave, the Mines, Burning Eyes Summit, you fight the Beholder, uh, the Crypt, mm, so good. Um, I love Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I'm going to save that and watch it later. But this is this is this is why I uh, this is why I love hyperpop so much, and funk and all these like gritty things. They're like genres iterated on genres iterated on genres. And what we want to do is we want to kind of break those genre conventions in new and interesting ways, right? That's what I mean when I say I want to destroy music. I want to destroy the genre. Can we change this a little bit? Hey, Hyperpop! I think Hyperpop has that electric beat with a distorted bass, right? Uh, it does. It does. It's a little bit more, um harmonic than funk but definitely kind of the same thing really what i just like is the, the bass <laughs> without trying to find something new. Well, that's the interesting thing. Um, you have to know the conventions of the genre before you can try to defy them in productive ways, because otherwise you're not really... Um, you're not really changing the genre into something that is a recognizable foil to the genre. Right. You need to you can you can pull stuff in from other places. You can try new things. You can bend the rules. You can break the rules, but you got to know the rules. Right. So kind of like metal, but less metal. <laughs> well, you have to remember that metal initially started because Black Sabbath wanted to do something that was bringing in a new genre from outside of music into music. They wanted to make music that sounded like a horror movie. They wanted to create that horror movie atmosphere in music. And that's, you know, exactly what we're talking about. You need to find and try something new, right? You need to bring something from outside the genre into the genre. But they had to know the rules of you know, how to play guitar, how to play drums, how to write a rock song or a blues song, depending on what they did. Uh, and they did a great job about it. I love Black Sound. Hell yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's part of the process, right? <laughs> you love Ozzy the most, though? Ozzy's... Definitely talented. Kind of wild. Love how breakcore is almost entirely defined by a drum beat alone, so the songs can be almost literally anything with that beat. Yeah, it's just a, a break beat, right? And the break beat is um, the <laughs> is is a break that's turned into a beat. And the most common break is the amen break. And so everybody just makes their break core with break beats that are just the amen break. <laughs> Although there are other breaks. There actually actually truly are. I know it's hard to hard to believe. Need to remember the name of the genre that is just literally an offshoot of the Powerpuff Girls intro. 
Yeah, the. Um, what does this need? Oh yeah, we're on the master track. We need, we need just to, we need just to shave it off the top. Yeah. Amen, hallelujah. Okay. With the with the with the crew cut, this is getting too wild. Okay, that might be too much distortion. <laughs> might be too much distortion. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Love OG Blossom. Uh, Blossom was the leader, right? Because Bubbles is the, the, the bubbly one and Buttercup is the saucy one. Gonna sort out giving shout outs to Raiders. Also, more content to make. Cheers for Vibe and Isaac. Have a good stream. Thank you so much for the raid, Salty. Uh, good luck with the post stream wrap up content. I know it well. Love it. I don't know about that. It was a little a little heavy, don't you think? <laughs> Should get back to uh, making music, but coding's whooping my ass right now. Right meow. Right at this meowment. Meowment. I mean, true. But um, it's good to focus on one thing down, right? <laughs> I think I know what we need. Trying to find, bounce it right for the feel of the song is, uh, it's tough. We can cut out some of the siren low noise, but I think we need to put some wider on our, our fills, uh, just so they, uh, get really, get really wide, really wide. They're really wide, and I can say that they're really fucking wide. They're really wide, more wide than I know. I feel like we need one more thing in this front part. So maybe we take our good, 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 um, I have beat and just ski it over there. Is that even doing anything? I can't tell. Shoot. Um... Does this need to be louder? Maybe. Uh, 
What if we just took this and moved it here? Let's just put all of our hi-hats there and see how it sounds. No. Ah, uh, it's not getting picked up because there's EQ over here, right? It's just really quiet. Lately, I want to make three things. Use some Minecraft noises for a song to distort them. Use the Moto Moto bass line for a song. Find some good 8-bit music making stuff. Uh, if you want a really good 8-bit uh, thing, I suggest the uh, magical... Wait, let's just delete that. I suggest the magical 8-bit plug. Uh, just classic 8-bit sounds. And then uh, Bonnie posted a website, or someone in Bonnie's server posted a website just the other day. Maybe it was you. Uh, JS, JSFXR. Looks like this. Those are loud. Turn down. <laughs> Coin noises. There's a good one. See, this is so cool. I learned it through Toby Fox. I'm gonna capture it and mix an Undertale Minecraft vibe. Ooh. Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, you go away. You go away. Uh, Undertale Minecraft vibe. Ugh. Like a very atmospheric, sort of ethereal sort of thing. It's not my it's not my forte, but it's something I've been thinking about getting into and trying. Board brain. I have this problem where I try making digital compositions and the software hates me. So I just keep imagining programs in VR that make you let you wave your arms around and make music. <laughs> it occurred to me this week that I'm literally just describing instruments, but in pretend. Yeah, have you seen? Um, oh, my God. This has just become media share. Have you seen the theremin? Do you know the theremin? Um, No, this is not what I want. It's good, but not what I want. Over the rainbow. Like, isn't that nice? 
You just wave your arms around to make music. But honestly, that is something that people have talked about for a long time. It's this idea of an intuitive instrument, right? Uh, the problem is that unless you're, you know, narrowing down a genre or something like that, uh, like if I played this for you, which now that I'm listening to it is a little bit too high on the. Like there's so much that's already been composed here that if I gave you an instrument and you said, I want to make funk, right? So much of this would already have to be pre-written that when you wave your arms around and change some parameters of it, right? Like, um, <laughs> you, you wouldn't be changing a lot of the composition, right? So it's tough. It's tough to balance the complexity of genre versus intuit intuitive creation. Uh, but uh, I mean, people have attempted it, uh, especially with simple genres like piano music. Something ethereal, yes. Yeah, not sure if you listen to Undertale OST, but a song called Fallen Down is majestic. And I have that vibe while using the energy of hopes and dreams. Well, all I can all I can recommend is steel. <laughs> steel like your little heart depends on it. Yeah, exactly. Pirate around. That's that's what we do. I'm going to add an EQ here. I'm going to share both Fallen Down and Hopes and Dreams in my Discord later. You should. Uh, speaking of Discord, how's my Discord server so far? It looks nice. Uh, there's, um, what do you call it? Two channels for each thing. General one, general two. I don't quite understand that. Um, but I did share that Unravel cover, cover around. Uh, yeah, man, I, Discord's tough. Uh, I have a Discord server and I just post things there every once in a while. I don't know. Seems like Twitch is a much better place to start conversations. Um, and then maybe Discord is like a better way to start or like carry on conversations, deepen friendships. Which at the moment, I feel like I don't even have the luxury of doing because there's just so much to do. I'm working more and that's nice, but at the same time, it's not nice because I'm working more. I'm, you know, trying to finish my big projects, which I'm making progress, but they're large projects. If the program was modular, like rebind input A into MIDI music instrument one, all it would need would be VST support. Well, I hate to tell you this, board brain, but this program right here is the best way so far that we've found to do exactly what you're talking about. Um, you could try looking at it in this view and seeing if that makes more sense to you. 
Um, but this definitely makes more sense to me. Glad you're enjoying it. I made two just in case Peeps needs the other channel because Huge Ones has groups and some groups want to hang out with their own group. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I do find it annoying when I'm having like a small conversation with someone and then somebody comes in with big news and I just have to ignore the person that I was talking to because their message is insanely far back. That's true. It's a very common situation, actually. But that program can let me tap my hands on my desk to make drum beats. <laughs> yeah, you just need a MIDI keyboard. That's literally like, uh, well, I don't have it open anymore, right? But that's like this, this right here is It's literally, it's, it's literally what you're looking for. Isaac talks about Burger King, some guy at Gen 1. I lost my memes, bro. Help. Burger King? You lost me there, Ray. The nice thing about this MIDI keyboard I have is it has these pads, too. wonder is that what these are for nope <laughs> i tried using drumsticks on the uh on the midi pads it didn't work there's no way that whole display is the length of your midi keyboard i'm so used to them really only being one octave long well uh, my MIDI keyboard goes from here to here, so it's a two octave MIDI keyboard. But obviously, it's got an octave changer. You want instant funk? Should I get a MIDI keyboard? So, pros of MIDI keyboard. It is an intuitive instrument interface. Uh, the keyboard obviously has spent many, 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 many years being developed into a thing that is functionally useful to humans. Whereas the piano roll, uh, on the other hand, is a relatively new invention uh, that, you know, it makes sense, but it's hard to intuit how it makes sense. Like, the piano, it works. It just works. Todd Howard, it just works. Whereas the piano roll is, is functional, but you have to learn it. 
and it's hard to get an intuitive sense of it. So essentially, if you get a MIDI keyboard, you can get good at piano, which is a skill, which is a good skill to have. Um, in addition to that, so this is something that's cool. So if I, let's say I go into my cowbell, right? And I set uh, this knob um, here. I set this knob here and then go out of MIDI. Now, when I, when I move this knob on my keyboard, I can change the, the parameter. So that gives me another way to like change my sound. Do you have any recommendations for a rookie price but solid brand? Um, I mean, you've probably heard of Yamaha. They're good. Um, and they have a wide variety. Uh, I use an M audio, which is also a kind of like brand that has a lot of variety in their controllers. Like I got mine for, I think like 50 bucks and it is pretty nice. Uh, although after a couple of years of using it, the pitch knob has started to wiggle a little bit, which is annoying when I'm trying to write music. Um, I used to have a Yamaha digital organ thing. So sad that thing is gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yamaha, any modern uh, piano or organ or keyboard will always have a MIDI output or more likely a USB output that can transfer MIDI. And essentially that will allow you to get into your, into your DAW with your keyboard, which is really what we're going for, right? So, um, I'd recommend I'd recommend one of those. And honestly, it's more important to start thinking in terms of the keyboard than it is to, um, you know, have the best product on the market. So just. Do one that works, right? Anyway, I think this is, I think this is pretty good. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Whew. All right. Christmas Flonk Achieve. Did everyone have a good time? Is everyone enjoying the music and sounds? Uh, I like the little dancing dinosaur. I will say that I really did totally think that the nostrils were eyes uh, for a while. <laughs> um, don't sue me. But uh, they're not eyes. Yeah, the eyes are at the back of the head. They don't blink. Wait, do they blink? They do blink. They do blink.
If they're not eyes, why do they blink? Oh God, I don't know. I'm questioning everything about myself now. I mean, some people can open and close their nostrils, but that is... Hmm. I think I'll be sticking the mouse only because my brain still can't sync with the piano keys. Well, what I'm saying is that if you practice on the piano keys, eventually you will have a very spatial understanding of the notes, which is an intuitive understanding of the notes and a physical muscle memory that can allow you to create melodies that work based on just your understanding of the relationships of the notes spatially on the keyboard. If you have the mouse, that doesn't really exist, right? Because the mouse is just your hands on the mouse, and that's it. I'm not saying that you can't compose with the mouse. I'm just saying that the benefit is that you're learning how to play piano, really. Um, who is, who is up fonking their fonk? Who's up fonking their fonk is the question. You know, I think we should raid chance really is the, is the, uh, is the truth. All right, there's an ad. <laughs> but let's raid. Yeah, strange. I never thought about it, but indeed, the, the nostrils do blink. All right. What am I doing? I've never seen someone blink a nostril. You're right. I thought I was wrong, but maybe I'm right. That little dragon has more power than Godzilla. <laughs> and you like suck in air through your nose so hard that one at least one of your nostrils closes like I don't know why you would do that while you're dancing they must be eyes okay uh I'm getting way off track raid message that's not it raid message <laughs> there we go command not recognized Nostril eyes scare me. Yeah, who 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 thought of this? We're we're not happy about this situation. All right, bye, Isaac. Bye, everyone. Nice hanging with you. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for stopping in. I'm glad that this stream was productive. We made a funk, and uh, also. We hung out. Hell yeah. I kind of like these streams. Just, uh, making, uh, under a minute of music. <laughs> very, very good for conversation. We like. Anyway, that's all for me. Uh, cursed as hell, but I didn't even think of this. Just suck your air in. Suck the air in your nostrils until they close. My name's Isaac Anzu. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining, and I will catch you next time. Farewell.